Away we go. You've got 400 to pick from. Where does that rate among them? I'll remember it, is what I will do. I will remember, um, I remember the game and I'll remember, the, I'll remember it easily because you just don't normally do that sort of stuff. And um, in 400 times that I've turned up to the footy, it's probably as good as I've nearly seen. So as bewildered as Sydney is as to why it happens, are you surprised that you could reach that level in a game? Um, um, with respect to Sydney, um, probably, probably, we've been pretty good, like, seems to get missed a little bit, but we have been pretty good. We've lost one game in six weeks, and we had some, some reasons in that game to, to get beat that were outside our control, but I just think we've been building pretty well, and we've been built around hard work, you know, and when you can, um, hold one and two on the ladder, to, what was it, 47 points in six quarters. Defensively, we're no good is what we've had to live with a fair bit and we've had to work really hard at that. And credit to Goldie and the team for putting some great defensive effort in over the last little period of time. So one of the questions that was brought up earlier in the year, particularly with some of the losses with your inability or simply infuriated the opposition on ground ball, how much has that improved and how much has it improved? Yeah, we, what do you see tonight? Look, our coaches have done, you know, and our players have been remarkable we've been able to absorb the education that we've been able to try and push into our game through a really tight season I mean, it's hard to it's hard to stay um, um, too matter of fact about the season because it's so up and down and we all feel that everyone feels it so it's really hard to to set aside your emotions and then work with what you've got to work with and I think we've done that pretty well through the season we haven't always had it right but we've been pretty good would you say that's an element that's significantly improved from where it was at the start? Yeah, I think our coaches have done a great job. You know, Luke Kelly, he took on the ground ball stuff for us and really helped us improve that part of our game. Because I think at one stage, we might have been in the bottom by about 20 or 30 in ground ball in a competition where we're not that, we're not that bad, but we were getting those results. You always said you've been footy a long time. Is that one of the most bizarre score lines and games you've Given the yeah, I've been in some strange games. I remember a game at the Gold Coast. The team had kicked 100 points nearly at half time. I thought I'd never see that again. And tonight I've nearly seen it again. So, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an unusual game. But, you know, once you get your momentum up and you get your confidence and you build and you get a bit of belief out of doing team acts, and I think that's what we did. And, I mean, to Sydney's credit, that. They've been bashed up a little bit over the last three or four weeks, and I think that just goes to show what the competition does to you if you if you get a little bit off off your best and you haven't got your best team out there, and or, or they're a bit wounded, it can get away from you really quick in this competition. Do you want to ponder the same question now? Can you move him back? One goal forward suggests he needs to go back, doesn't he? <laughs> <coughs> no, I think he's playing really well um, in that area of the ground. We have had Todd out, so you know we've we've had to explore that a little bit, and good on him for welcoming that opportunity because he it, it, it did come with his mindset on playing back and you know but we did as I said last week we knew he could play forward he's had a lot of forward craft in his time so hopefully um, it allows us to be flexible. Did you hold your breath when Aaliyah started holding? Um, yeah probably I mean not hold your breath but I wanted to be sure what was wrong it looked pretty simple but he's pretty pretty important to us so I wanted to make sure he's okay in his 150th game I thought it was you know a good a good day for him clearly and for his family. Wildest dreams imagined he turned into the quality of defending against the Um, oh, look, I, probably not. No, probably not is the is the honest answer because he's been remarkable. He's been all Australian. He's probably in track now to be mentioned in the conversation again this year, I'd imagine. And um, um no, he's been a pretty good pick up by Cripper. Your midfield group has been, you know, publicly criticised in the last couple of weeks against yeah, they're pretty young. I think we forget it. Well, they're pretty young, that group. And, you know, Ollie's, Ollie's been really important. Willem Drew, they were really important. Everyone goes past them and they miss them. And they you know, forget Jace Burgoyne on the wing and Trav on the other wing. The, we, we get fixated by the three and sort of understand that a little bit. But the reality is the collective is really powerful together and they can play powerful football. But they've also got to defend. And I think that's really important for them. And um, they've been really good at embracing that opportunity to be harder to score against and play against and 
but also keep their good stuff out there. How cheesy has it been for, or not easy, or not easy, or not easy <coughs> having a consistent run room for week after week as well after what happened at the start of the year? Yeah, I think, well, Jordan's um, like a barn. They both come to the club, and, and Dante too, who's been playing some remarkably good footy in any other, probably, uh, in most other opportunities, he would have played some more AFL football. He's played really well in the in the um, sample, but I think Jordan's done really well to keep him at bay, to be fair. And, you know, he, he wanted to play senior footy. He, he was behind an outstanding ruckman in Tim English. He changed clubs with that hope, and he's getting some reward. How much of a focus was just that manic pressure on Sydney? Yeah, we're no good unless we do that. No team in the comp, I think, are, are really that good unless you can lift to the level of pressure that you have to be at. And at this time of the year when the race gets tight and it gets really hard, you know, um, you've got to separate yourself from the pack a little bit if you can. And the only way you can do that, I think, more often than not, is by being consistent in pressure. And I think that's what we've been able to do over the last little period of time. What about the unselfishness in, in ball movement as well? You could have got great, players could have got greedy, but or, you know, played a bit of hero ball, but there wasn't any of that. In fact, the opposite. No, I thought that, yeah, I think we know we know what we do and we've got ball in hand. We're, you know, as I said tonight before the game, that um, Sydney and us like the fast grass, the corridor, so we want to go through there and we want to play through there a little bit. With that comes risk. And for the people who say we, we can't defend, we, un we understand that we sometimes open ourselves up to being hard to defend. But the reality is we think we can be pretty strong and pretty powerful, but tonight I thought we had great balance. We didn't always go to the one spot. We didn't always, we, we took some marks. We we did most things right tonight without, you know, it'd be hard pressed to say we could do too much better. How, how do you handle the win that big? Do you say, boys, you've just beat the ladder leaders by 100 points, or do you say, keep the lid on it? No, nah, no, nah, we say enjoy it. <clears throat> you know, we comp so hard, you've got to enjoy it. I mean, you don't get many games like that, clearly. And, and they all, they all, you know, the old, all played well, we'll go out surely tonight. There's not a player on our team that didn't play a significant part in that, that victory. But you have to do that to win games as big as that, so they should enjoy it. But I think they're pretty determined on what they're trying to achieve, and I hope they can you know, keep, keep their um, noses down and eyes on the contest and see what happens from here. A lot of talk about the fixture, obviously. What can um, winning uh, the way you have the past two weeks do for the Yeah, well, as I keep saying all the time, just wait till the end, see what happens. You know, it's hard to keep it clearly level that we've been at in the last six quarters, but hopefully we can, and if we can, they'll give us a great opportunity. The comp says, you know, lose one and you're out of the eight. Almost, that's how it feels. And importantly tonight, we picked up a bit of percentage, which will also be pretty important in the run home, I hope. So we can control where we finish by finishing the way we want to finish, and that, that will help us. When you're on top by so much in a game like that, and you know percentage could be the difference, No, I really just talk to the group about staying strong and being powerful with the way we do and, and keep it really simple. I didn't want us to go away from the way we'd played. And I think, to the, to the boys' credit, they, they felt that too and they just kept going for the whole way. And I think, pleasingly, we, you know, we, we won every quarter. But, you know, they stuck at it in a pretty matter-of-fact way and I was proud of that. To have a right smile, I mean, six weeks ago, you and the team booed off the quarter time today, you get a standing ovation. Um, I've got no point going back. The game's too hard. Just stay in the moment. For us, we'll, we'll enjoy the victory against Sydney Swans. Everyone wants to be winning every week. I get it. Every team's had a, a night like Sydney had tonight. Every team's had that night through this year. We had that against Brisbane six weeks ago. Doesn't mean we... Um, we're, we can't have that again, and we hope we never have that again, but we, we just had a really, really bad day, and I'm sure that's the way Horse feels about tonight. You can't look at that game and go, that's who we are, because we've been much better than that. We've been really consistent, but we had a bad night. So, do you feel vindicated as a coaching group, though, when you say we're not that far away, and, and now proves it? You know, yeah, it doesn't matter yet, yeah. unfortunately, because until you get to the end, it, everyone, will, everyone will just point to one thing. That's, that's the reality that I have to deal with, and that's OK. I hope so, because we've done a lot of work. Our conditioning, Stewie Graham and his team have done a lot of work. Our medical team have done a lot of work. Our coaching team have done a lot of work to hopefully have us in good shape. We, we are healthy at the moment, and that, that certainly helps. We certainly didn't feel quite as healthy as we were. We're much healthier this year than we were this time last year. Charlie's certainly moving pretty well. Still another impressive performance from him, considering where he was at. You get another game.
<clears throat> he'll get another game. He's, he's look. He's he's worked really hard. I've said this a few times. He's worked really. He doesn't. He's not a surrender. He's not someone who gives up. Took on the challenge and good on him for being able to produce. And then, and last week, even last week, you know, Charlie didn't have a massive impact on the scoreboard. But he took Weedering, who's a massive player. So there's more to Charlie's role than people just purely look at numbers. And he's he's playing the role pretty well. Do you definitely find a spot for Todd next week? Uh, we'll wait and see. He's got to be available first. So. Hypothetical question, but the reality is Todd's a part of our best team, I think. Did you get through yeah, yeah, which again is another massive positive. We we get a healthy list of work through to the next game. <coughs> Thanks. Thanks.